Thank you. And um, I'm presenting this on behalf of the Women's Health Initiative investigators. Here's my disclosures. None, none of these have to do with this presentation. The background, I think, is very interesting and important. Obesity for several decades has been recognized as a strong risk factor for postmenopausal breast cancer. However, studies of weight loss and breast cancer provide inconsistent results. And as a result, <clears throat> the International Association for Research on Cancer, it's a, uh, uh, a well-recognized body, uh, authoritative body, who published in New England Journal of Medicine just a few uh, months ago uh, their summary, and the current public health message is now limited to avoid body fatness. So that's really, that suggests that if you're overweight or obese, it's too late to make a change to show benefit. So uh, our study objective was to evaluate associations between weight change categories and breast cancer incidence in postmenopausal women participating in the Women's Health Initiative observational study. Secondary analysis explored the association of weight loss and breast cancer incidence by weight loss intentionality. The participants in the Women's Health Initiative uh, were participants the uh, participants were in working in the Women's Health Initiative observational study that, was not, that incorporated 93,676 women postmenopausal age 50 to 79 years of age uh, with anticipated three-year survival recruited from 40 U.S. clinical centers from 1993 to 1998. Um, and the follow-up will be 11.4 years after our last uh, uh, body weight uh, measurement uh, through September 30th, 2015. And uh, we have uh, information uh, at baseline on a variety of endpoints. Uh, we start with 93,000 women, but actually we, we uh, eliminated some women who had uh, cancer at, at entry. Some of the participants had missing data, so we're left with a cohort of 61,335 women. This is an observational study, so there was no intervention. We're, watch, we're watching these women as they go on in, in their normal daily activities. Our measurements were measured height and weight at baseline in year three and calculated body mass index. And we prospectively developed weight change categories, which would be weight stable less than equal to 5% body weight change, weight gain of 5% increase, weight loss 5% decrease. We took the 5% decrease because this level has been shown to change some biochemical markers potentially associated with cancer, has also been shown to prevent in a different uh, study population, a randomized trial, uh, reduce the frequency of diabetes. And then at year three, we ask an additional question. In the past two years, did you gain or lose five or more pounds, yes or no? And was the weight change intentional or unintentional? So I think the unique thing was we have a very tight window of weight change over three year period of time. Uh, so compared with, um, Compared with women with stable weight, women who had a greater than 5% weight gain were more likely to be younger, black, and heavy smokers. Women who had greater than 5% weight loss were more likely to have high BMI, but were less likely to be physically active. It's a kind of almost a paradoxical population. Interestingly, the body mass index of this group was 29.9, so then the verge of going into obesity. And so we, we wondered in retrospect whether that was a motivating factor for them. So here's the distribution. You can see the stable weight of the group was 41,139. That was the largest group. Weight gain was a substantial 12,021. And you can see the weight loss by intentionality was either 19.6 uh, pounds or 16.9 pounds. So that's just a substantial weight loss. We're not going to show the data, but we did have uh, we did have self-reported weight at year six, and it looked like about two pounds of the weight was regained in both categories. So. Um, so here's our main analysis. Weight change in breast cancers. There were 3,061 breast cancers among the 61,335 women. In multivariable variable adjusted analyses compared to women with stable weight, women who had 5% weight loss, that's 8,175, had a significantly lower breast cancer incidence with a hazard ratio of 0 0.88, 95% uh, confidence intervals 0 0.78 to 98, p-value 0.02. Adjustment for mammography frequency did not alter findings and remained statistically significant. Uh, women who gained weight did not have an increase in overall breast cancer, but there was an increase in triple negative breast cancer, which we really don't have a good explanation for. Um, so, and then here's the data looking at weight change and breast cancer incidence, including by weight change intentionality. And what you can see is that 
Um, it really, there was uh, the statistical test between intentional and unintentional weight loss group found no significant difference. This finding, and, and the question is, it is, was the weight loss by intentionality, that one question, adequate way of determining uh, that factor? We had published in JCO earlier this year uh, that weight loss uh, that was intentional resulted in greater reduction, lower uh, incidence of endometrial cancer, and this, we didn't see the same thing in this, in this result. So summary, in a large prospective study of postmenopausal women, compared to women with stable weight, women with weight loss of really only 5% were at lower breast cancer risk. There's no significant difference in breast cancer findings by weight loss intentionality. These findings suggest that interventions in postmenopausal women designed to generate weight loss may reduce breast cancer risk. I feel these are very um, uh, optimistic uh, findings in that they provide uh, a, a, a lesson to postmenopausal women that even a, a moderate degree of weight loss may have be associated with health benefits. So I think this is kind of a relatively new finding and I think should have public health implications. Thank you.